Happy Friday, everyone. It's March 4th, 2016, and once again, the battle between the FBI and Apple is ruling tech headlines this morning. Yesterday, a host of big names in tech, including eBay, Reddit, Twitter, and Airbnb, finally voiced their support for Apple publicly, although it seems it took a long time for them, didn't it? Now, another important voice is joining the choir, and this one's international and very official. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights issued an official warning that if Apple were to grant government officials access to private citizens' private information, as the FBI is asking Apple to do in the case of the iPhone C used by one of the San Bernardino shooters, it would most certainly open Pandora's box. The commissioner was quick to acknowledge that the events that took place that day were horrible, but he pivoted to point out that this issue is about fundamental human rights privacy, not about protecting criminals, which, no offense to high-ranking officials, is the same song being sung by everyone in support of Apple on this matter. But it is notable that the world is watching and they don't like the potential outcome of the FBI getting its way. As for the FBI, the agency has yet to detail what it is they hope to get off the phone, and it's looking less and less likely like there's anything specific there. The San Bernardino County DA Michael Ramos just argued he fears that there is a quote dormant cyber pathogen end quote hiding on the phone that could impact county computer systems. Folks, that isn't a real thing. It doesn't even appear in the computer science lexicon. And so it seems if the truth is out there, we haven't heard it yet. Speaking of encryption, if you own an Amazon Kindle Fire tablet, be sure you aren't storing any sensitive information on it. Apparently, Amazon offered an encryption feature on the tablets, but nobody was using the feature, so they just decided to ditch it. The latest OS updates removed the feature, and now any sensitive data can easily be accessed from these Amazon devices. I don't know that you've been keeping any state secrets on your Kindle, but if you have, you might want to store them elsewhere. Jury is out on whether an iPhone would be a good option there. And finally, Digital Trends would like to thank our Facebook fans for helping us reach half a million followers this week. We are super excited about it and extremely appreciative of your support. We like to think we write about cool stuff for people who like cool stuff, and obviously you guys are super cool. Thanks for being a fan of DT. We couldn't do this without you. And as a token of our thanks, we're going to give away a 55-inch Samsung JU6500 series TV. This is a great 4K Ultra HD TV at a great screen size. You'll find the contest entry on our Facebook page, and if you're a fresh fan of DT, you can still get in on this too. Just follow us on Facebook and you can enter as well. That's it for DT Daily this week. Have a fantastic, fun-filled weekend. We'll see you again right back here on Monday.